Welcome to a lesson on parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines are two lines that never intersect. Notice here we have the graph of two blue parallel lines. If we look at the slopes of these two lines, notice how the slope of this line is equal to one-third. The slope of this line here is also equal to one-third. And this is true for all parallel lines. The slopes of parallel lines are always equal. And we can use this property to help us determine equations of parallel lines. In example one, we're asked to give the equation of the line passing through the point a comma three that is parallel to the line y equals negative two x plus three. So the equation of the line we're trying to determine is parallel to y equals negative two x plus three. Because the equation of this line is in slope-intercept form, notice how the slope of this line is negative two. So because the slope of this line is equal to negative two, and our line is parallel to this line, we're trying to determine the equation of the line with a slope that's also negative two and that passes through the point eight comma three. So because we know the slope of our line, we know the equation must be y equals negative two x plus b. And because this point is on the line, this ordered pair must satisfy the equation so we can determine the vertical intercept b by performing substitution. We'll substitute eight for x, three for y, and then find b. So we would have three equals negative two times x, which is eight, plus b. Simplifying, we have three equals negative sixteen plus b, adding sixteen to both sides. And now simplifying, we have nineteen equals b. So now we know the slope is equal to negative two, which we already have in our equation here. And now we also know that the vertical intercept b is equal to nineteen which means the equation of our line is y equals negative two x plus nineteen. This line is parallel to y equals negative two x plus three and passes through the point eight comma three. Now let's talk about perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines pictured here are two lines that intersect and form a right angle where a right angle measures ninety degrees. If we take a look at the slope of this first line here, notice how it would be negative three over one. And the slope of this line is positive one-third. The slopes of perpendicular lines have a special relationship. They are always opposite reciprocals, also referred to as negative reciprocals. To find the opposite reciprocal of a number, we put the number in fraction form, flip it over, and change the sign. So again, the slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals. And now let's complete this table for practice. We're told that line one and line two are perpendicular, and we're given the slope of line one, and asked to find the slope of line two. So all these slopes here will be the opposite reciprocals of the given slopes. So if line one has a slope of two-thirds, the opposite reciprocal would be negative three-halves. Again, we flip it over and change the sign. If the slope of line one is five, or five over one, the opposite reciprocal would be negative one-fifth. If the slope of line one is negative eight, or negative eight over one, we flip it over and change the sign. The opposite reciprocal is positive one-eighth. And if the slope is negative four-fifths, the opposite reciprocal would be positive five-fourths. Let's look at another example. We want to give the equation of the line passing through the point a comma three that is perpendicular to the line y equals negative two x plus three. For this problem, our line is going to be perpendicular to this line. Well, notice how the slope of this line would be equal to negative two or negative two over one. And because our line is perpendicular to this, the slope would be the opposite reciprocal. So if we flip it over and change the sign, our slope is going to be positive one over two. So we're trying to find the equation of the line with a slope of one half and passes through the point eight comma three. Well because we know the slope now, we know the equation would have to be in the form of y equals one half x plus b. 
and now using the point that we know is on the line, and therefore this ordered pair satisfies the equation, we'll perform substitution to find the vertical intercept. So we'll substitute eight for x and three for y, just as we did before, but now the slope is different. So performing the substitution, we would have three equals one half times x, which is eight, plus b. Simplifying, we have three equals one half times eight is equal to four plus b. Subtracting four on both sides. Simplifying, three minus four is negative one. Negative one equals b. So now that we know, now that we know that the perpendicular line has a slope of positive one half and a vertical intercept of negative one, we can now write the equation for this line. The equation is going to be y equals one half x, and then because b is equal to negative one, we'd have minus one. I hope you found this helpful.